Back. Back. Uh, do you see that One Punch Man is getting a third season here? One second here, real quick. Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, damn it. Why am I being thrown in? You know, I swear to God, every time he does this, he, I think he does it on purpose where he is, you know, like he leaves, you know, something comes up and he's like, yo, I'm going to leave Matt alone here. So he has to cover some time because if he doesn't, it's going to be some dead air. Um, All right. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, sick, man. So speaking Woo. of dead air, dead air, there's no transition. Um, no transition. Production of, uh, we are not season... saying jam. Uh, <laughs> production of the third season of one punch man has started. Yup. That is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, man. It's uh, definitely a thing. I, okay. What are your thoughts so... on one punch man as a series? Okay, so One Punch Man, I think it's a fun series overall. It's just like a huge parody on overpowered characters, and that's great. Uh, the characterization's good. But, like, if you don't like... Okay, so, like, the story isn't really about, like, Saitama, right? Mm -hmm. It's more about the people around him. And that's why I think the story actually works. Because you have Saitama, who's just this incredibly broken, overpowered character. That's a parody of all other characters that have been broken, overpowered. Right. But the other characters around him have, like, flaws and, like, character development and all this other stuff going on. Yeah, so had, Saitama so has none of things, that. Things actually work. Yes. No, Saitama's... Saitama's at the end, basically, of end of the line. He's basically. literally he's MacGuffin like, the character. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, like, the strongest, but he's still considered, like, a C-tier hero because... It's a joke. You know, it's a joke, yeah. Because nobody ever actually sees him, like, beat the enemy, mm -hmm. right? So he never gets credit for the, the wins until, like, much later. So, like, I don't know. But season one was really good. The animation was phenomenal. Yeah. And then season two, the animation took a goddamn nosedive. And the overall quality of it took an old fucking nosedive. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping in season three, they get to bring the animation quality back up. And the rest of the show just kind of flows. So I know yeah. the manga is still doing well. So it just makes sense. Yeah, I mean... Isn't like in the show, like or in the manga, like Saitama's like friends with the head of the, like the superhero community or whatever? Because look, I it's no. been it's been a minute. No, he's not. Like I thought he had like a friend that was like a higher up. Um, no, he he has like a he has like a lackey, basically. You're talking about the robot guy. Yeah, who's like his trainee. Or yeah. was his training. He's like, please teach me, master, after he, like, saves his butt. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, man. And he's I... one of the more grounded characters. Like, you get to see that character grow. You get to see that character improve. Oh, okay. So he's, like, an actual, like, shonen character. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, what might happen? I just yeah. remember in the first episode, um, and I guess it's in the manga, too, like, the, the creator intentionally drew Piccolo, like a character that's like Piccolo. Uh, you know, like a Dragon Ball character. You know, like the character that in the first episode crashes into his apartment. Yeah, okay. So he was in he was intentionally made to be Piccolo, essentially. And then makes sense. In the actual anime, what they did was they brought in the English voice actor for Piccolo to play this character. I didn't know that. That's fun. Yeah. That's so, funny, so, so they brought it. So I like how they kind of meta that, that sort of, you know, that angle of, of, uh, dragging, uh, Dragon Ball nope, characters. Into it. Hello. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, you know what? I need to start one punch man. Uh, again, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good little show. I haven't seen it since the first, I think I watched, started watching the second season. I remember Moomin Rider, uh, I think he's like my favorite character. 
because he's just so kind of pathetic. He's like and... a bootleg common rider. He even has like a rider kick. Yeah, and he just like <laughs> he gets his ass kicked, but he keeps pushing. Um, yeah. And like, uh, he, like I don't, I don't even think like anybody still respects him after he gets his ass beat too. But yeah, man, Moomin Riders is is my guy. I I I'll, I'm I will forever stand Moomin Rider. Your your dude. Exactly. Um, yo.